So students, question number 1.3 and 1.8 are similar. In the question number 1.3, they have asked to determine the molecule empirical formula. Whereas in question number 1.8, determination of molecular formula is asked. But the element and the percentage are the same. So we will solve this together. So as per the question, determine the empirical formula of an oxide of iron which has 69.9% iron and 30.1% dioxygen by mass. In the second one, because molecular formula is asked, molecular mass of the oxide is mentioned. So we will see how to solve it. So I have drawn a box here that makes the uh, calculation much easier. So in the first one, I am writing element In the second one, percentage. In the third column, atomic mass. Fourth column, number of moles. Fifth column, simple ratio. And the sixth column is whole number ratio. So this table will make our calculation even much easier. So first we'll put down whatever values we got in the problem. So iron is the element and oxygen is the other element. So in this iron percentage as per the question is 69.9 and 30.1 for oxygen. We'll put that down. Eight four. Oxygen is 16. Now in the next one we need to find what is number of moles. So we are now going to divide the given percentage by atomic mass. So here 69.9 divided by 55.84. Similarly, we will do for oxygen also 30.1 divided by 16. For iron, we are getting 1.25 as the moles and for oxygen, we are getting 1.88. Now, to find the simplest ratio, we need to find out which is the smallest number among both these values. 1.25 is the smallest number, so every value you get in this column has to be divided by the smallest value that you get. So here we get 1.25 divided by 1.25. Similarly, 1.88 divided by 1.25. This will be equal to 1 whereas this will be equal to 1.5. Now we can't have a formula where we have a decimal. So what we will do is whenever we have exact 0.5 as our decimal, we have to multiply the numbers by 2. In case it is greater than 0.5, say for example I got a value of 1.8, I can easily round off the value to 2. But here in this case, because I got 1.5, which is exact, all the values will be multiplied by 2. So here the whole number ratio is going to be 2 and this will be 3. So in this case, since the ratio for iron is 2 and ratio for oxygen is 3, the empirical formula Empirical formula is Fe2O3 and that is going to be our answer for question number 1.3. So we stop till here when a question is asked based on 1.3. But if you are asked based on this, which is the molecular formula based on 1.8, we need to go further. So first we need to calculate what is the molecular mass of this empirical formula. So in that case, when I calculate the molecular formula, the molecular mass, iron molecular mass is 55.84 into 2 because I have 2 atoms plus 
atomic mass of oxygen is 16 into 3. Now this I am going to calculate. This is going to be the molecular mass of Fe2O3. Now we need to find N value. N is nothing but whatever mass you get out of the molecular formula divided by the mass of the empirical formula. So here both our values are same. The, the molecular mass of the empirical formula and the molecular mass given to us here. Both are same. So now this n value should be multiplied with the empirical formula. So that means your molecular formula here is going to be n value into the empirical formula. What is the n value we just found out? 1. And what is the uh, empirical formula we have? Fe2O3. So therefore our molecular formula is also same in this case.